if you fail the fuel pressure test like I did in a previous video, the very next step, the immediate next step that you're going to do is a fuel pressure regulator hold test. So what you do is you start the car, pinch off the return line, and then wait five minutes. It's basically the same exact test except you're pinching off the return line. Is this going to be pinched off enough to not allow bleed through? I don't know. We'll find out. And again, I have my uh, jumper pins all set up just like in the last video. This goes into your fuel pump pin on your uh, diagnostic. Now this trapezoidal connector is only available on the 2.0 liter automatic MX6 66 Ford Probe. That's the only place that you're going to find this. For the manuals, you're going to have to use this diagnostic box and you're going to have to find your uh, fuel pump pin, which I believe is the, uh, the FEN pin, F-E-N pin, and ground. So you ground that directly to body ground and then jumper this side of the pin with, use a T-pin into the FEN pin. Make sure that you look up your factory specs to ensure that that's how you operate your fuel pump. And this is basically in diagnostic mode so that all I have to do is turn on the key and the fuel pump will continue to operate. It will just be continual pressure. And that's what this is about. You're not going to be able to hear it. You might hear some solenoids click or something like that when I turn it to the on position. And then I'm going to come clamp that hose off. And you will also notice that the, uh, that the gauge will rise. So we're going to wait until that gets the max pressure and try and find a way to get in here, clamp this hose, and then we'll try something like that. And then you pull your jumper, so that should disengage the fuel pump and there shouldn't be any bleed down, and I'm getting bleed down a lot of bleed down. That's too quick. I have these. They're straight jaw, but as you can see, they're too large to fit uh, any rubber hose off. So I'm going to end up marring that when I clamp it. And there's still a little bit of space in there. Reconnect your jumper. It goes on body ground. As soon as you put it on body ground, that starts raising up. Let's see how high, what's my max pressure at? Yeah, just about square on 25. All right, let's see if this works. That's clamped off pretty well. Nope. We're gonna check the vacuum on the fuel pressure regulator. There should be vacuum getting to this hose. That feels good vacuum. Hard to see here. Right here, this hose that connects, you should be getting vacuum on there. And there's definitely good vacuum on that. So let's see if I can plug that, if that's going to change. No, it's not changing. But my scanner danner said, keep your finger on that port. It might take a couple minutes. And then your, if your diaphragm inside is, gonna, is bad, it's going to start hurting out fuel out of your uh, vacuum hose. That might be very well my case since my intake manifold smells like gas. It could very well be. Well, it's been a couple minutes and I'm not getting anything out of that no pressure regulator vacuum port. So I don't think that's the issue. No change. There should be a change. My fuel pressure regulator has failed this test. So I'm gonna have to replace that. So that's all there is to this test. Uh, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, um, ask a mechanic because I'm not one. Uh, call this video done. Cool.